Where the hell are we? <laughs> Where have you brought yeah. us? Welcome to uh, what you call the Hayward Place. <laughs> like the have. This is just weird, babe. <laughs> the temple, a spirit temple. Right, let's just explain what's going on. So, Damo said this morning, oh, there's a new cafe open. I've seen it on Facebook, ads on, on Facebook. I said, okay, we'll go and take a look here. Yeah? And we've just been driving for 20 minutes in <laughs> the middle of nowhere, like in it, fields in the middle of nowhere. And we just found the place and it's so weird. Mm. It looks like somebody's house. I wasn't even gonna vlog this, to be honest. Just happened to have a camera in the car. Because we're on a date, basically. We're on a date, just me and Damo. And no kids. It's starting to rain a little bit. But I'm telling you, look, there's nothing that way. And there's nothing that way for miles. It's just nothing. But then you've got this. Cafe de Panam Rung. Which is... Which I think is supposed to sound French, of course, like Cafe de Paris. But it just looks like a Thai house. I guess you'd have to live in Thailand to understand what I'm talking about here. If you didn't live in Thailand, you'd be like, oh, what's, what's the issue? Um, but it just looks like a, an old Thai house. But then... What is weird is, what's a little bit weird, I don't know, it might just be us that find this weird, but to me all of these statues are weird. Like look, look at the face on this deer guys. Something just feels odd. Look at, you know what's odd about it? Well, you've got cherubs over here, you've got animals there cherubs here then you've got a spirit house there's the giraffe the giraffe looks all right I, I quite like the giraffe but then you've got more cherubs and then it just seems like there's a lot of statues all kind of into one place like galloping horses I don't know you you tell me guys it just seems like a lot of statues like there's like a shrine here it's like somebody went to the statue shop and just said, yeah, all right, I'll have all of them. I'll take them all. So you got a, a green rhino there and then a mini rhino. Um, but let's not knock it till we've tried it. You know, I'm just giving my honest... It was a weird feeling coming in. Uh, it sounds like the music's quite nice. And I can hear... I can hear big rains coming. So just in time, really. You've got another giant horse over there and you've got a big Buddha fat Buddha you got a couple there kissing that's good for our date no kids couple kissing here show down all that later you got some geese hiding in the bush let's check it out inside maybe they're statue makers I don't know they're closing up because of the what do you care have they're closing up because of the rain so these walls uh, like 16th century gothic first the first time it's not cafe the first oh. time they do this they do this this thing they do is like a sculpture they do oh, this so they, they yeah build, they make sculptures yeah that that right, yeah sense. yeah in 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 they have the factory behind that and then uh, after covid they have like uh, some some customer they're not you know, they, they just reject what they already made it. And then uh, they just say, okay, what they have, so they decorate in the house first. And then they're just thinking, oh, maybe we do some cafe. But the main thing, main business for them is uh, like... That like makes sense. Chai. That makes more sense. Yeah. Because I said it's like somebody went to the sculpture shop and just bought them all. No, no, oh, no. They, they have the factory behind. She said sense. that we, we can take a look in the okay. back. Yeah. Let's get a coffee first, yeah? We've got, the, we've got a giant throne here in the middle. And then... Oh, they made it. Yeah, it looks nice. Everything's on the coffee now, though. It's not, yeah. it's not about their buying somewhere and then putting it together. Is it's family or family? Yeah, couple. Oh. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's order some coffee then. Samrat pom pom our latte yen cup. So I don't, you never know what you're gonna get, do you? 
usually when you get to a cafe in Thailand, it's like a little, they're done quite white and brown and they're all very the same, you know, a lot of the modern cafes these days look the same. This is something very, very different. Obviously, there's not customers here. They've done some Facebook advertising, but there's literally zero passing traffic. I didn't bring my drone with me or I would show you how isolated this actually is, but just imagine 50 football fields in every direction and this being in the middle. It really is just nothing, no houses, no nothing around here. And that's probably because they've got the factory here where they make this stuff. So we will go and take a look at the factory. We're going to taste the coffee first and then we'll take a look at the factory. They were open already one year. One year? Uh, and then they just start doing ads, so that's why it's suggests to me. Oh. Uh, before they not do ads, so we don't know. So it's close to the hospital here and then the government outfit around here, so they come. They come here and also the bike, biker, bicycle. Some people they take a bicycle on the back road. Oh, yeah. uh, sometimes they, oh, they so stop they here. So Damo says that they export this stuff and this throne here is 60,000 baht. So 60,000. Lot high, am I? I said to Damo, we need this. Everybody needs this, don't they? So you sit in it, babe, to show how big it is. She's too shy to sit in it. I'll sit in it. Cut my, my, my feet don't even touch. Yeah, I think we need this. Yeah, everyone needs a throne like that, don't they? So they export this stuff. Uh, I imagine the shipping costs on something like that would be more than the actual cost to buy it. But I guess these people are very wealthy. You know, I actually thought to myself, guys, that let's just not have the camera around. We do a lot of stuff without which is not on camera. I don't think people understand that. There's only 40 minutes of your life on camera every week. And so we do a lot of stuff that's not on camera. The majority of our life is not on camera. But this is one of those times where I was thinking, oh, we'll not get the camera out. We'll just have a date, you know, and just have sweet time together. Which when I turn this camera off, we will. But you don't want to have the camera around all the time. It may look on the vlog like we vlog. We're always vlogging. We're always filming everything that we do, but not really. You know, you're filming, maybe you're not filming 40 minutes because in editing, you cut half of it out. So maybe you're filming 80 minutes a week, which, you know, when you add it up, is not a lot. This is the signature. So you've got marshmallow, caramel, whipped cream, I can smell it so sugary here, chocolate, a little fatty. I'm, I want to try too. So I give my coffee a seven. That's quite good. Mmm, marshmallow. It tastes like marshmallows. So this is our day, man. No kids. I love you. <laughs> I want to spend my rest of my life with you. Do you still love me? Do you love or not? No, I actually come to buy pig food and dog food. <laughs> it's not that. I see that as our date. That's the best we're going to do. A date for me is where there's no kids. <laughs> when there's no kids, that's a date to me. <laughs> Actually, our plan is to buy pig food and dog food. food. No kids, that's a date. Ah, so this, cool. this one's, this one's three thousand five hundred. This is statue kissing. Roman <laughs> face, no, so we need. This one is 45,000. Come on then. It's too shy. Demo wants to get a statue of Otis and Hugo like this. I said it'd be like something from a horror movie. Yeah, it's something to see. Ah, oh, this is when you work. When you, you kids, you look like this, you know, put oh, in the farm. It's got a frog coming out of the pocket. Go try and we frog. Otis got a lizard. <laughs> so now all this makes sense. It's not weird at all. Um, just first impressions were weird because I didn't know what to expect. But this is the factory. So it's, it's all making sense now. And so some of these sculptures they use for the movie sets 
and the TV shows in Thailand. They'll rent them, especially the furniture and things like that. Or they'll have some stuff custom made. Damo loves the deer. And it looks like they're making some taps. These are those taps that look like they're floating in the sky. The water comes down and... And the tap looks like it's floating in the air. Here is a Roman... Roman sculpture. Like here's where they do a lot of the detail. Got these big industrial fans here on them to stay cool. Lots of sculptures here. This is, it's like a fiberglass that they build a lot of it out of. It's quite a busy operation, like, it's not actually a cafe at all. This is a, a place where they make sculptures. Not so much a cafe. But I guess if we ever wanted something custom made, I doubt we would. This is where you would come to get it done. This is, looks like a mold that they're using. This is the mold they're using to cast the plaster. He's just clipping all this out at the moment. Here she's doing this statue. Looks like quite detailed work, actually. And they have a fire. Fire set up here. I guess it's to heat the various materials that they're using to make the sculpture. There's lots of little casts here. It's different shapes. And he's just about to take this one off. So this one, uh, I thought Thor, you know Thor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a king of Aso. It's a king of Aso from India. So did the customer order many of them? And uh, they, they ordered a big one and a small one. Yeah. And after, after this, they're going to do like a go. Yeah, they make go finish. Go finish yeah. So it takes about one week um, to cast like this. And it looks like... There's actually, uh, it's the rubber cast that he's taking off now. So, on top of the hard cast, you have this rubber cast that he's pulling away. And that's then in the detail. Oh, so this is the first king that supported the Buddha, apparently. King Aso. So, this is Panum Cafe. An eatery will be coming again. We'll bring the kids and more than just a cafe in the end. We didn't expect this because we don't overly research the places where we're going to go. We kind of just go for ourselves. And so I don't want to see everything. I don't want to see pictures of everything that we're going to see on Google. And then we go there. It's boring. We never really research. We just know there's a place and we go to it. And then that's a surprise, isn't it? So um, in this case, we had a little bit of a surprise to come and find them doing these statues and me and Damo have had a good hours date as well away from the kids 
which is the important thing for us. Again, different ways of life. These, this is what be, these people are doing every day, day in and day out. Sitting doing this kind of very detailed, very detailed work around the fire. This lady here apparently is the Ajahn. She's the one that teaches the other ones um, how to do it. So she's been doing this for many, many years. And I didn't even know this place was, was here. I mean, I assume that like, you see a lot of sculptures around Thailand, so you assume it's done somewhere, but you don't realize it's been done so locally. Yeah, I, I, for me, I love this uh, something about art and nature. Always. And, but when I see this place, it feel like, uh, you know, can't believe they can do this. You know, it's, it's masterpiece for me. It's, it feel very impressed. And can't believe I still have the feeling like uh, I can't believe that local people that can make the art like that. You know, they do step by step and uh, very calm. Take uh, you know, it's like have to be giant. Mean very calm and take it just step by step slowly. And they feel like uh, they they are old, but they can do the piece of art you know for me I love this kind of thing so it's like uh, when I see the art like this it feels so impressed yeah. so that's it for this vlog today what started off as a bit of a coffee date for me and Damo has turned into well learning new things guys learning new things seeing new ways of life and um, it's never boring in Thailand there's always something interesting happening and we hope you're all well thanks for joining us on today's vlog thanks for liking subscribing as usual take care guys so here's a quick uh, random insert into the vlog but we're at the petrol station getting our e20 and this is the sign here switch off your car okay no smoking fair enough no naked light and turn off your mobile phone. It's the first time I've ever seen that in a petrol station before.